So you guys won't believe what Julius Malema said about Floyd Chiwambo. You know, this man really sounds so hurt, guys. You know, I doubt that he will recover very, very soon. You know, we could clearly see that he doesn't really directly wanna, you know, address Floyd. But the fact that he still indirectly throw punches at him just shows that he's still hurt. For continue, please do me a favor, do me for your subscribe. I'm interested in this much more. So guys, on the latest EFF conference, you know, Julius Malema was addressing members, you know, he addressed some various stuff at the EFF, you know, including those who wants to leave the political party, you know, he says that he wished them a good luck and they must leave the party immediately because it doesn't change anything because if they leave in December, they, should, they would have wasted their time. Listen to what he said. No, the people want to take us to GNU. We are concentrating that the possibility of these people going to GNU, GNU is very high. They go a different direction of where they wanted to take us. We refuse the GNU. We still refuse it. We don't want the GNU. Fighters, we must make sure that all our counselors and all the employees are disciplined and continue to pursue that which they have been deployed for. The GTU shall fall under the office of the president and all powers that belong to the deputy president will go into the office of the president. And everything else that looks like the former deputy president shall be dismantled in the EFF and then gotten rid of with immediate effect. The GTU and all those who served in the GTU under the deputy president are dissolved. You want to deploy anyone into the government on behalf of the EFF, you shall report to the office of the president. We are taking charge of our organization now. We are tired of entrusting in the hands of wrong people. We have been betrayed for too long. We have been sold out for too long. We have been trusting for too long. We need to take it into our hands and run it ourselves. So if you guys can hear Julius Malema's voice, this man is its not really the usual Julius Malema's voice. You know, He's still hurt by what Floyd Shivambu did to him. You know? And I really do not blame him, guys. You know, if it's someone that you used to trust so much, you know, who you regarded as a brother did something like that to you guys, you will be very, very hurt, you know. He said that he's not gonna, you know, address Floyd Shivampu, but there he is, he's already starting. You know, I know this is just the beginning of him always throwing uh, punches at Floyd Shivampu. As you guys can see, you know, he's uh, painting Floyd Shivampu as someone who was not loyal, someone who wanted to go to government of national unity, but he took a different direction. You know, from what Julius Malema was saying here, it seems like Floyd actually wanted, uh, Julius Malema to head to government of nation and all of a sudden Julius Malema is surprised that Floyd went to Mkondo with Sisu. It just shows that uh, Floyd Shivambu's loyalty was no longer at the EFF, you know. And Julius Malema is still hurt, guys. I doubt that he will recover, you know. Now he's acting the staff, acting like, you know, they have moved on. They went, they went past our Floyd Shivambu's situation, but you can clearly see that Floyd's name is still on his head, you know. He's not, he's not really the same anymore. You can clearly even see that he has lost some weight, guys. So I really feel for Julius Malema. What Floyd Dishiwambu did to Julius Malema was really dirty, you know. And I hope that EFF actually comes out stronger because if it comes out for, stronger from the situation of Floyd Dishiwambu, guys, I'm telling you, you know, Julius Malema will come out stronger also, you know. So it seems like uh, if um, this other comrade... Comrade Nklozi, if he wants to leave also, guys, I don't think that Julius Malema is going to beg him. He said that all the comrades that want to leave, you know, he says that they must leave ASAP. You know, they shouldn't even wait for December because if they leave in December, it means that they actually wasted their time, you know. So they need to know who is going to be loyal to the EFF right now or not. I knew from the beginning that Julius Malema saying that him and Fred Shivambu not talking about each other. It's not gonna happen but i feel like they're still gonna expose each other and i feel like for shivambu is also at some point gonna talk about julius malema you know julius malema is already starting in fright he's not also gonna keep quiet you know and this proves us that there might actually be bad blood between julius malema and for shivambu
many people thought that this was well orchestrated move uh, for Fred Shimbu to go to MK, you know. But now we finally see that this actually this is actually genuine situation, you know. We now finally see that these two actually never wanted to do anything with each other anymore. You know, because they are now suddenly throwing punches at each other. You know, it just it just makes a lot of sense. You know, Jabudan Kumalo said that uh, Freud and Malema will never split. But right now, guys, this situation really yeah. looks very, very serious. You know, you cannot fa- fake this kind of fa- facial expressions. You know, the fact that even your voice is gone. You know, when you talk about him, you just sound so emotional. You know, so he really deeply hurt Julius Malema. He still hurts him. You know. And when he finally heals from this whole situation, that's where he's gonna address Fred Shivambu directly. And I feel like this might affect the relationship that EFF have with MK Party at the Progressive Caucus because these two no longer gonna trust each other. And Fred Shivambu looks like someone who wants it to be involved in the government of national unity. So they have different mindsets, you know, and want to do things differently so it wouldn't it wouldn't work you know so for Floyd to go to another political party instead of addressing these issues with Julius Malema I, th- I feel like it was a bad move you know? it was a bad move and now the fighters are still on Julius Malema's back you know they're still supporting him disregardless of what happened even though I've seen harsh criticism against Julius Malema on Twitter many people were heavily criticizing him saying whole bunch of a whole bunch of things about him saying no this man is hurting this is the downwards of the EFF you know it's really finished because Floyd was the brains of the EFF they are saying so many things you know at this point he just looks like a clown in front of the whole nation you know no one actually takes him seriously at this point but I'm telling you guys he will recover very soon and people start you know realizing that this man actually stand his ground you know i just like the fact that he doesn't change his mind out of the blue you know just regardless of all the situation everything he's always you know standing his ground making sure that what he says he's always he always speaks his mind you know just regardless of what people people thought that he will just go on that stage you know try to sound like you know they're gonna back anyone no he's not gonna do that you know he's not got that type of a person he doesn't have that kind of character it's just so unlike him, you know. That's why he told everyone who wants to leave that if you want to leave, make sure you do us that favor right now because it's not going to change anything because you're going to leave in December anyways. You know, he didn't really talk about Comrade Nkosi because that's what most people currently want to find out whether or not uh, Comrade Nkosi would remain loyal with the EFF or not. So that's also what I want, want to, what I want to find out. Because if Comrade Nkosi leaves, that is actually the end of the EFF. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates.